Hello Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. The support of Oracle cards are by, are they're the Angel Answers Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Got a little bit ahead of myself there. Capricorn. All right, already shuffled. Let's see what we got here. Interesting. I feel like we're kind of um, working backwards, which I'm trying to figure out what exactly we're saying with that. Let's do you, you know, you, it, I think it kind of progresses as it goes. So let's start with the beginning here and just work our way forward and see what you get. Because I don't feel like this is bad, but I feel like it's a little like um, reevaluating in some spots. You come in with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the action line, what's happening between you and the environment you're dealing with. It's something you're very comfortable and happy with. I wouldn't say it was perfect, but you're familiar with it and you're comfortable with how the situation works. Um, I do feel like you're working on progressing or changing. Progressing? Progressing feels better, to be honest with you. I feel like you're looking to progress the situation forward. You're just trying to improve some pieces, but I don't feel like it's about like perfecting. I feel like it's moving it to the next level, if that makes a difference. Like, you're not trying to, like, you know, shine up the edges. You're trying to build another level. And you're, you're working towards that. You're getting the information necessary. I feel like you're the one who's actually doing that. You are working on gathering information. But the information you're gathering is based on what the other side is looking to do. I feel like this next level you're, you're going towards, the other side, the environment... Like, they have an idea about, like, where they want to be. It's almost like, I want to go to Chicago. And you're like, all right, but what do we want to do in Chicago? Like, you're gathering the information, like, what possibilities are there, if that makes sense. So, like, whatever you're working on, you know where they want to get to. Like, for example, if they want to make it more productive, make more money, you're like, all right, what possibilities do we have there? And you're searching those out. Okay. Now... The other side's giving like what they want to achieve. You're, you're digging out the information to make it happen. Or what type of possibilities have reality or what, what, what can actually happen here. You're not about the pie in the sky. You're like, what, what's tangible? What can I grab onto? What can I see that's a, a real possibility here? You're bringing that back to the other side and this is creating a very good moment. You're showing what has to be done, well, I feel like you're you're giving a, a full spec, well, a full picture of a, what is possible here. I'm getting the other side is really hearing like. I almost feel like you're saying, we could build a boat to get there, for example, if you're trying to get to Chicago, um, but you'd have to take these riverways. It would only it have to be like this big. It could only fit this many people. It could only go this fast, so it'd take this amount of time. I feel like you're kind of giving details, but they're like hearing boat. Boat sounds like a good idea. Not, they're not really clicking into those details. You're, you have very specific, important details. I don't feel like they're clicking into that, just so you know. Um, or for example, like they want to make more money. You're like, well, we could increase, you know, our influence in this area, and we could change some of the colors to, you know, garner some more interest in this market, just for like a simple thing. And they're feeling, but. They're hearing, like, new market, but they're not getting the details. Like, I don't feel like they're getting the details. They're hearing new market, but not what it's going to take to get there, because I feel like you're even pushing forward. If we do change these colors or whatever, we're going to have to get this supply from this area. We're going to have to pull from this spot. Like, we're going to have to get from a new supplier. Like, you're getting, you're getting the details, and you're giving the details, but they're just hearing the big picture, like, new market? Like, not the whole thing. I feel like that's the point we need to make here. You're having a good moment, and they're very, very receptive to you, but they're hearing endgame. They're not hearing pieces that are going to take to create the endgame. You are very well aware of the, end, the the pieces that it takes to get to that endgame. I feel like you're very well aware of that. Now, I'm getting like the other side is very happy 
and wants to go forward. And I feel like you have to push, like with the the five, is this the five, if I can see? There we go, five of swords. This seems to be one of the stronger spots at this moment because you have to keep pushing and fighting to like make sure that they're paying attention. Like, are you hearing me? Yes, we can take a boat to Chicago. It can only be this big. It can only hold this many people. And they're like, yeah, we'll take everybody that way. We can just get a boat. Well, not just a boat, unless you want that boat to take seven trips. You're going to have to make seven boats or to take seven trips. It's not just the boat and send everybody. Everybody can't go at once. Like, I feel like you're giving these details. Like, listen, that's a good idea. I agree. But it's not going to be just quick. Like, things have to be done here. Other things have to go into to play your push i feel like you're stressing the details that's the whole thing here like the other side is just not catching the details and i feel at some point you should be catching on to that if you're not maybe that's a point of this reading for you that they're not and you might have to like this card either comes in to the point where you have to keep pushing to make sure they hear these details or after the fact you're going to have to push to make sure these details get taken care of and that might be a problem if the other side was not paying attention closely because that might be a, uh, a stress point. It might be a real, it might be a hurdle and a half, just to be fair. So it's either deal with it during that moment, making sure they hear you, or deal with it after because you're going to have to be like, uh, not everybody can fit in this boat. No, 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 you're going to sink it. Not going to work. Um, now, I'm getting the next card for you is the if you believe. So, I feel like what you're bringing forward, I'm getting what they're saying is like, you should choose what you think is best. Push that forward first and with the most enthusiasm. And then be careful how you put the other things forward and make sure that you lead with like the detriment first on those. Like give all the information, but the one you think is the best idea, lead the good information first and then the negatives afterwards. The things you don't think are the best idea, maybe you want to lead with the negative first and then follow up with the good part. Because I feel like whatever you lead with, they're going to hear the good first. That's going to be the strongest thing. Like the, Whatever you lead first is going to be the strongest thing. If you lead with the good, I feel like somebody's going to be like, that's going to go, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just keep that in mind. And they're saying if you believe, you can actually steer this the way you want. Still giving all the information, but if you... Go first with the one you think is the best and leave the positive for that first one. That's great. Then you bring in the other ones after that, but bring, start with the detriments first and then pull in the good side of those. It's just going to go your way is what I'm getting. Which, you know, maybe that's manipulative, but you know what? It's going to have a good outcome. You're still giving all the information, but the people, I'm, I'm telling you, they're hearing the good really easily. And if you lead with the good and the first one you think is right, that's the one that's going to go go forward. And I feel like that's just you making this informed decision. You're not making the final decision, but you're giving that information like the strongest, the best way you can. Now, on the other side, at some point, they do have the Two of Pentacles. Hopefully, when you start presenting these things and they're very, yes, 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 let's do it, do it, do it, I hope I really hope you're you're catching on that they're not getting the details. It's just I'm telling you it's not sinking in. If this reading is hitting, it's not sinking in. So you need hopefully this is when you're pushing that really strong and getting them to get into this boat, this situation, this reality quickly. Because the sooner they're in that spot where they're like, "Oh, the details. Oh, we have to use seven boats. Oh, we could do seven trips. Oh, we really need to do this though. I really want this to happen. How are we going to work this out?" Could we make like four boats just a little bigger? And you'd be like, no, 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 no. That this is the capacity. Like it has to be seven. Maybe we could do two boats and do you know three trips with one boat, four trips with another. You know something like that. Like I feel like you're trying to say, well, these are the true options you have. We can't do one boat. We can't do four boats and just overpack them. No, we can't do that. Like I feel like you if you push it. You really like you're like wake up, listen to me, listen to the details I'm telling you. I'm telling you these details. You can't do one boat. You can't even do four boats and overpack them. It's still not gonna work. Like I feel like if you're giving that in, this might be an issue where you might like really have to like hunker down and stand strong and be like, no 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 no. This is how I've gone through these numbers. 
and make sure you have the numbers behind you. If you have to have some type of support to prove, for example, it has to be seven votes, make sure you have that with you when you present this. That's all I'm saying, because this will be a lot easier for you. Because if, do, if you don't do it then, you'll have to do it later anyway. You might as well have it right there and get it all taken care of one quick snap. Good? Good. Whew. All right. Now... I feel like the other side wants, is going to be in a negotiation stage. This, um, the Six of Pentacles is usually a very charitable card. They're very, they're very giving to, like, they're, they're working with you and they want to do what they can. But, for example, if we use those seven boats, they don't have the money to do seven boats. And they don't have the time to wait for one boat to take seven trips. So they're going to need to find other options. So the sooner they get on board with realizing the details the sooner they're going to see the truth about what they really can do because I feel like time and money are a definite factor. That like, for example, the seven boats, not, not, not going to be a, it's not really a possibility because don't have the time for one boat to take seven trips, don't have the money to do seven different boats. Um, so like you might have to negotiate this out for a while. You might even have to find a different option. I don't feel like that's a problem for you because once once they're pushing forward like how much of a resource, how much time, like I feel like at this point, at this point more details are coming forward about what the um, parameters are, if you will, because I feel like this is more of a this is more of a development of the situation. The lover's card is on your side. You are very happy at this point because they feel like the other side is working with you they value your they value what you're saying and they they want to work with you as much as possible they're giving you the honest truth about what they have to work with and you're like that's completely good i feel like you're completely fine with that it's not about you know pulling apples from the sky if they don't exist <laughs> like you're about all right what do we have tangible to work with and i feel like that's better like they're giving you more information at this point so you can really find actual pliable solutions three boats going you know one and a half trips or whatever you know whatever that is two trips however that is um and then bringing in the stragglers on the last one that might be a pop that might be an option you might you may have some options there but once you get that full picture you're happy because you know you have the power to make this work out and I'm seeing on, you have these opposing, you have the yes on your side and they have something better on their side. You're very happy, like it's a go because things have to change, but the yes on your side means you're feeling good about this because you have the truth here. And this is like the six of cups here. This is going through the whole situation again and, like, <laughs> and reevaluating at what's actually possible. I feel like it's another reevaluation, but this, this is better. I don't feel like you're on your own. I, there's something is different about this. I feel like you're coming up with ideas, but other people are doing the legwork. I feel like this is a lot better. Um, it's the Six of Cups, which to me says a lot of history here. Um, but I feel like it's starting back here at the beginning. What do you want? And I feel like you already have some things that you're pulling. Like, here's the options I've already found. Let's work together and see what's actually a possibility. And then if like, for example, it's like, is there a way to do th three boats and, you know, have some stragglers come a different way? Is that a possible? Like we can do the three boats, two trips, and then the stragglers come a different way. Is that a possibility? Like, but you have other people doing the legwork. It's like something is, it's a lot easier at this point. And I feel like you already have like gathered information it's a lot easier to work at this point but it has to be reworked and you're you're okay with that because there's more information there's more stability here now good good all right i feel like the whole point of this is that if, the, if you're getting into this and the other side is really agreeing way too easily there should be like you might have that little inkling moment like something isn't right here make sure that they understand the details push the details if they don't get the details at that point, you're going to start working towards something. And when you start requesting money or something, they're going to realize that something isn't working out. And you're going to have to go over it again with the details. And they're going to realize this isn't going to work out as originally planned. And it has to be revised. So once they realize that you know, you're, making, you're checking the details right in the beginning, 
they're very conducive with you, but they need to give you more information. They realize that, they give you the more information, you're very happy about that, and this is where you can actually start putting it together and find something that has real merit to actually correct or move it to the next level, I should say. Move it up. You have real merit to do that now. Good? Good. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.